हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड टाइम टू ऑल आई एम चंदन कुमार प्रधान वेलकम टू योर यूट्यूब चैनल चंदन फिजिक्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस सेकेंड लॉ ऑफ थर्मोडाइनमिक्स इन टर्म्स ऑफ एंट्रोपी लेट्स बिगेन लेट वी कंसिडर एस आए with the entropy of initial state <coughs> sf that is entropy of final state of a system we consider a system where si with the entropy of initial state and sf with the entropy of final state then the change of entropy in that of system then change of entropy of that system entropy of final state minus entropy of initial state that is integration over dq by t from initial to final or del s is equal to i to f dq by t this relation applies only for a reversible path applicable only for a reversible path if the initial and final states are infinitely close to each other then that above relation it changes to if initial and final states are infinitesimally close to each other then what happens that is ds is equal to dq by t where dq is the amount of heat absorbed or rejected at temperature t and dq will be t ds which is nothing that is the mathematical form of second law of thermodynamics <coughs> that is the mathematical form second law of thermodynamics our aim is to define second law of thermodynamics in terms of entropy so the principle of entropy say that the principle of entropy entropy that is change in entropy of universe is greater than equal to zero means del s is equal to zero for that of reversible cycle and del s is greater than zero for that of irreversible cycle and uh, in nature the entropy is always increasing in manner that does not decreases so that can be written as closed curve integration over dq by t greater than equal to 0 this is uh, embodies both for kelvin flank 
and Clausius statement for the second law of thermodynamics. Previously, we discussed about Kelvin Planck and Clausius statement for second law of thermodynamics and their equivalence. So, to equivalent these two statements, we follow the concept of entropy. Here, by using these two statements, we can define the second law of thermodynamics in terms of entropy. So, here this is the embodies of both Kelvin Planck statement and Clausius statement. of second law of thermodynamics. So, in case of Kelvin Planck, first we take what is the Kelvin Planck statement indicates Kelvin Planck statement for second law of thermodynamics of second law of thermodynamics. Here we take a perfect heat engine. Here we take a perfect heat engine and what happened? <coughs> According to Kelvin Planck, a perfect heat engine cannot convert all amount of heat, let that amount be Q, taken from that of source at temperature T into work, means it is impossible to convert all amount of heat into work. So, according to his statement, in short, if such type of heat engines are exist, then what happen? There will be the decrease of entropy of the source here the decrease of entropy of source that will be dq by t since q amount of uh, heat taken from that of source at temperature t so the decrease of entropy of the source will be dq by t for that of a perfect heat engine okay since the working substance returns to the initial state after completing a cycle, hence entropy of the working substance will remain unchanged. Here the entropy of a working substance, entropy of working substance remain unchanged. unchanged means the change in entropy will be zero here here is the decrease of entropy of the source that the entropy of a working substance will be unchanged for that of a perfect heat engine we take the example of perfect heat engine in case of kelvin planck statement thus the entropy of the system and the surroundings decreases which is against the principle of increase of entropy now here entropy of system plus surroundings in both the cases the, the entropy will be decreases but which is against the principle of entropy that against that against the principle of entropy, principle of entropy. Here we get 
the Kelvin Planck statement as we take here as a perfect heat engine which is against the principle of entropy we found. Since the entropy here is decreases but actually entropy of the system is always increases. Again we take the example of Clausius statement what happened for that of Clausius statement. Clausius statement here we take into consideration as a perfect refrigerator here we take for a perfect refrigerator refrigerator what happened here for that a perfect refrigerator according to Clausius there cannot exist a perfect refrigerator which is unaided by any external agency that means this refrigerator transfer q amount of heat from the cold body at temperature let t2 to a hot body at temperature t1 so there will be also decrease of entropy so here the decrease of entropy of cold body will be how much that is q by t2 means that refri refrigerator transfer q amount of heat from cold body at temperature t2 to hot body at temperature t1 so the decrease of entropy of cold body will be q by t2 and increase of entropy of hot body so increase of entropy of hot body will be how much that is q by t1 here the decrease of entropy of cold body that is the increase of entropy of hot body in case of a perfect refrigerator again the entropy of working substance will be unchanged <coughs> entropy of working substance remains unchanged remains unchanged here so the total entropy of the system and surrounding therefore total entropy of system and surrounding system plus surrounding surrounding that is q by t2 sorry q by t1 minus q by t2 here i use sign convention increase of entropy taken as positive decrease of entropy taken as negative sign so q by t1 minus q by t2 since we know t1 is greater than t2 that the temperature of hot body is greater than that of temperature of cold body hence total entropy of the system and surrounding will what that is decreases again here total entropy here entropy of total entropy of system plus surroundings system plus surrounding what happened here that is decreases that is decreases that is against the principle of entropy principle of entropy <coughs> that is against the principle of entropy here according to kelvin planck statement of second law of thermodynamics the entropy of system and surroundings decreases that, that means it will be the against the principle of entropy here for Clausius statement again that entropy of system and surroundings decreases that means it is against the principle of entropy since according to the principle of entropy the entropy is always increases there will be no such decrease of entropy 
in any kind of thermodynamic system which is allowed in nature. So, from these two statements of second law of thermodynamics, what is our observation? The principle of increase of entropy, the principle of increase of entropy is consistent with both the Kelvin Planck and Clausius statement of the second law of thermodynamics. So, combining these two, what I write? Combining these two statements here, I write the final conclusion, the definition of second law of thermodynamics in terms of entropy. What is the final conclusion? Thus, write the principle of increase of entropy, the principle of increase of entropy is consistent with both the Kelvin flank and Clausius statement Clausius statements of the second law of thermodynamics. Second law of thermodynamics. In previous videos, the video that is based upon Kelvin Planck and Clausius statement for second law of thermodynamics and its equivalence here we studied about that these two statements are proved or equivalent by using the concept of entropy. But here by taking these two statements of second law of thermodynamics we conclude that the definition of second law of thermodynamics in terms of entropy. So, with the help of this video lecture we understand what is second law of thermodynamics in terms of entropy? This is the mathematical form of second law of therm thermodynamics and this is the principle of entropy and we take two statements of second law of thermodynamics. One is Kelvin Planck statement and another one is Cla Clausius statement. Here we take perfect heat engine, here we take perfect refrigerator and finally show the entropy here system plus surroundings is decreases which is against the principle of entropy again in case of perfect refrigerator that also against the principle of entropy and finally we conclude that that is the conclusion based upon of these two statements of second law of thermodynamics that is the final conclusion from this so entirely we discuss second law of thermodynamics in terms of entropy throughout that of video lecture so with this useful and infinite universe, let me wind up this session. Thank you.